So let's do an overview of what we just witnessed here. Kanika gets to the room and within five minutes text that she's ready to go. Mike Mike is there. It's reported on Irene's live. Mike Mike and Kanika are both being coached that they need to chill. All right. We're going to get straight into it. In this video, I want to present to you the reason Kanika text her last text. I'm ready to go. Mike, Mike. All right. And for those of us who already pondered across this idea if whether or not you've seen evidence displayed I don't know I haven't seen it if so fine but we're gonna get straight into it over here so without further ado we have to remember that Mike Mike came in before Kanika Shamaya, Bree Bree, uh, Monifa. We have to remember that, right? He also came in with his crew, Tifi, Nephi, uh, Lil Ty. This is in his statement. So, to prove that to you, just in case you don't know that. This is him coming in. Uh, I say between roughly four to five minutes before Kanika and them came in. Right? Roughly four to five minutes before Kanika and them came in. So again, Mike, Mike, Tifi, and then these two. I don't know which one in order. I think this is uh, Lil Ty and this is Nephi, or it could be in any order, right? But these are the three that he came in with. Okay. We know definitely for a fact that this is Tifa. Alright, I forgot which order these two in. But anyway. Now. As you can see, Tifa is turning this corner. Why is he turning this corner? Okay. Some of us already know. Again, for those who don't. Let's just bring this to light. All right. So him and his crew come in. I think they stood at that corner right there for a second before they decided to go in this direction. Okay, so they come in the full court area and they turn around. All right. Okay, so roughly four to five minutes before Kanika and them come in, right? So let's see when Kanika and them come in. And let's look at that time. One thirteen, and this is the full court area. All right. So they come in a little after Mike Mike and them. Now this, these two footages, right? 
it's not enough right but this is just to show the time frame of who came in when who came in you see what i'm saying so this is to put mike mike in the room before kanika right because we still have to understand she went into the room and so suddenly i'm ready to go so suddenly i'm ready to go okay utc time at that time before the time goes back utc time is five hours ahead of chicago so this is 1 20 a.m right she tests i'm ready to go okay mike mike is already there okay again this alone does not present the evidence right this is just the state where who was and so forth right so my mic was already up she gets there five minutes right after she get there i'm ready to go now here's the kicker here is the kicker The kicker is, Bite Tyrene's live. Okay, now, how do we know this is that time frame that Kanika and Mike Mike was in? Well, we've, in our, we've already showed you this, right? We've already went over this. Because of Bree Bree's shirt, her jacket, okay? The whole time Bree Bree came in, watch this. For those who don't know, I'm going to try to run it as quick as, as possible. Was it isn't? Yeah, okay. Now, you have to remember. When they first came in, she had on her jacket, right? Bree Bree had on her jacket when they first came in. Now, the whole time they was there, Bree Bree had on her jacket, right? Look at the time. It's 125. She hadn't made it to the room yet. Okay. Then let me see which one that was. Bear with me for a second. Cause we have to look at all locations she was. And we have to identify the time frame. Okay. 154. Again. Now, I don't know if she had made it to the room between 125 and 154. Because see, this is what happened. At 125, when she came back into the lobby from that corner from meeting that dude. Right? When she came back into the lobby at 125. Uh, right here okay at 125 when she came back into the lobby she went across okay she went across into the elevator area and she was gone for like a good what 25 minutes roughly somewhere in that area so let's move on Let, let's let's move into that time frame now a lot of us already know this right a lot of us already know this but for those who don't
Okay, shit ain't already popped up. What was that? Let me see. Give me a second. Bear with me. Bear with me. See what's going to happen is wh why I'm doing this is because okay there she goes okay so what I was doing that is to show you that she was coming from that area from the elevator area okay she was coming from the elevator area and she looked down these stairs and now if you look at the time 154 34 154 41 okay seven seconds she goes in this direction so roughly between uh roughly 25 minutes she went into the elevator area and she was gone for like 25 minutes so she could have made it into the room at that time okay and then she come back but with her jacket on you see what i mean now She comes back, right? Again, with her jacket on. Look at the time. It's 1:58. Okay, it's 1:58. So, anywhere between two o'clock. Is that yeah? Anywhere between two o'clock because it's 1:58 now, right? So anywhere between 2 o'clock and 2.25, she was in that room. And that's when the live took place. Because after 2.25, after that live, watch the live, watch the live. Matter of fact, let's do this. I can go back to that point in a minute. Okay, here she is with a shirt off, right? After that live, with her shirt off, after that live, her and Mike Mike and allegedly Cece goes into the lobby area. Let me see which one is that. Well, I can use this one because I know exactly what time. See that? She got her shirt off. Okay? So that live, Irene's live, had to be between 2 o'clock and 2.25. But then you have to also remember that Irene's live was a very short live. Six minutes. Okay? Six minutes and 17 seconds. What I have. Alright? But it was a six minute video. For sure right so in knowing this and you see Mike Mike with her right and knowing this that means in this life at this particular time because we know that she was in the hallway still around 158 
So she had to make it to the room any any time between two o'clock and two twenty five. Because here she is with her shirt off and then after the live, she pops into the lobby leaving with her shirt off. Mike Mike is with her. Okay? So again, Mike Mike is still in this room. And again, he admitted that that was his voice, that raspy voice in the background, saying he ready to go and all that, and trying to, you know, his homeboy trying to get him to chill out, right? He already admitted that that was his voice. Okay, so they leave. He also admitted in his statement. Let's get to his statement. He also admitted in his statement that he left because the party was weak. All right. And then he came on Facebook admitting that that was his voice and he had nothing to do with a murder and blah, blah, blah. All right. So the evidence is there. Okay. Now, let's get to the juicy shit. Because a lot of us remember this live. And a lot of us remember what was being said in this live. But watch this. Watch this. play somebody music in the background they hit me up let's bring it back a little bit more so this is his voice know what I'm saying You're like man you tripping cuz that's his homeboy you know what I'm saying trying to get him to chill like Cause he trying to get him to go, man. You coming with me or what, bro? Now let's be exact. I don't know who he was talking to when he said, "Are you coming with me or what?" Cause he could have been talking to Kanika when he said that. I don't know that, right? But what I do know is, at the same time that he was tripping and was ready to go. Right, Monifa was trying to get Kanika to chill out. Oh, do you understand what I'm saying? Remember, in his statement, party was weak, right? That means something that he was trying to do wasn't taking place. The party was weak, bro. You just drove all the way from goddamn Chicago to Rosemont and you there for like roughly 45 minutes between 45 minutes to an hour and now you ready to go because again we seen him in the lobby at 225 leaving and we're going to talk about that too but we seen him in the lobby at 225 leaving so we're talking from midnight, right, 12.33 a.m. Between that time to 2.25. That's over an hour, actually. That's over, you know. But who does that? Like, who leads from... You know their county all the way to another county i think they said that that takes like 30 between 30 and 45 minutes to get there and then you leave right back like you just you know what i'm saying like you you came for a party bro and then you you know what i'm saying like who does that shit how's the party we can you know for a fight that everybody just getting up you know you early 
You see what I'm saying? But anyway, so Kanika gets in the room. He's already there. Again, he's already there. Kanika gets in the room and five minutes, boom, I'm ready to go. She texts, I'm ready to go. Right? That's at 120. Bree then already indicated to us what time Irene's live is. So after 120, we have between 2 o'clock and 225, this live pops up. Mike Mike, he ready to go. Kanika done already text she ready to go. So from her text, 120, up until roughly 2 o'clock, 220, we don't know what conversation was taken on. But all of a sudden, in Irene's live, a little after 2 o'clock, Mike ready to go. He like, man, his homeboy like, man, he tripping. Mike might like, no, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, he ready to go. While at the same time, Monifa is over there trying to get Kanika to chill out too. Because Kanika been ready to go as soon as she hit the damn room. So now it's like both parties, right? Monifa and Kanika over there having her conversation, having their conversation, and Mike, Mike and his homie is over there having their conversation at the same damn time. Why are these two the only two that are being coached to chill out? Nobody else in the room is being coached to chill out. It's just these two. Monifa talking to Kanika. Somebody's talking to Mike Mike. So the steam is in the air between Kanika and Mike Mike. That's for sure. That's for sure. Because there would be no reason for Kanika to be in the mode that she's in as soon as she hit the room and then Mike Mike is in the mode that he's in. You see what I'm saying? Like you can hear it in his voice. He's damn near in in a I don't give a fuck mode. A nigga don't leave the way he left saying the shit that he's saying just because the party is weak. You can tell this nigga was aggravated than a motherfucker. It was more than just the fact that the party was weak, that he wasn't feeling. It's the fact that something that he was trying to do wasn't being done. And he ain't like that shit. So he was ready to tear that. He was ready to get back. Get the fuck out of there. The same way Kanika was when she first walked into the room. I'm ready to go. Let's go further with this conversation. I'm trying to dodge that uh, Chief Keef song. And then Irene does that to try to cover up the conversation because she know, you see what I'm saying? She lied in the interview saying that there wasn't nothing going down. I understand. I understand. 
These are vice lords. It was a vice lord night. I told y'all that. It was a vice lord night. They had everybody outnumbered that night. You see what I'm saying? Of course she'll be scared. And then in that interview, she ain't trying to get nobody up. You got to understand the environment that they live in. It's, it's a gangland where they live. The whole city is gangland. You have to understand that shit. So she ain't trying to give nobody up. So of course she gonna say, nah, you know, it wasn't nothing really going on. You know what I'm saying? All I'm gonna say that. But we done already proven that in Ty's life, it was some shit going on. And now in this life, it's some shit going on between Kanika and Mike Mike. But you also have to remember too, watch this, here's another kicker. You also have to remember too that Ty's life is after this life. And Ty kept putting the camera on Kanika. After Kanika and Mike Mike got into it. Now, whether they really got into it like verbally like fuck you no fuck you blah 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 I don't know but we now know here listening to this shit and using our common sense and our logic it was some smoke between Mike Mike and Kanika that's why she was ready to go when she first got there she seen his ass and again we have to remember that she was fucking with Rico A vice lord. So she was probably like, Shh, I ain't with this shit tonight. Not knowing that they was going to beat up. So at the beginning of this case, right? Now, I this just hit me. At the beginning of the case, Remember they kept saying that somebody popped up at the party. They didn't know they was going to be there. Somebody popped up at the party. They didn't know they was going to be there. And they didn't want to say what gender they was, whether they was man or female. Remember that? That, that was metaphorical. It was like the truth of within a lie. Kanika didn't know they was going to be there. When she got there, she was ready to fucking go. She probably ain't know no vice was going to be there, especially Mike Mike. All right. So this is the conversation. Let's bring that back. I swear that girl said I need you to come outside. I swear more me for told Kanika that shit. I need you to come outside. Like she trying to get her to chill out. Listen to Mike, Mike. His homeboy is, boy, you tripping. Okay, so y'all so, so see this, right? 
Y'all see this? Y'all hear this? It was Mike Mike that made Kanika want to get the fuck out of there. Now, watch this shit. Remember in, uh, in my, my statement, and this is finna be a ooh ooh, huh? Ooh ooh. Remember in my, my statement, and again, a lot of you already know this, but let's put some clarity on this shit. After leaving the hotel, Tate, which is Mike Mike, aka Bibby, proceeded to the city with friends, including Neff and Lil Ty. No, you didn't. The only way that would have happened is if he waited around until Neff and Lil Ty came out. Y'all seen that headband on Lil Ty? Uh, I want to call him Lil Ty so bad. I think that is Lil Ty though. But hold on, we're going to get right back to it. But y'all seen that headband on Lil Ty head, right? Watch this. Use a liar, boy. And use another one. I got you too. It ain't as clear on here. Let's go to another. Let me see. Um, Y'all need to see this headband on this head clearly. So that we can determine what time Neff and Ty left up out of here, right? Watch this. Okay. We see the headband on this head, right? Right? Now watch this. Watch this shit. Some of y'all already know this information. All right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just use this one. Some of y'all already know the information, right? Matter of fact, let's get back to this part right here. Just for a second. They're already gone. They're already gone. Just for a second. All right. Okay. I just want y'all to remember, right? They just walked out the door. All right. Anyway, so we already know that um, Bree Bree left with Mike Mike and another female right now watch this 
Because he said after he left the hotel, it, now this is his last time being seen in, in, in the footage. This is his last time being seen in the footage of this night, right? He never came back in, right? Only Bree Bree and Cece came back in. But he never came back in. But he left with Ty, Lil Ty, right? Lil Ty and Neff. Watch this. Because what he's saying is impossible. If Lil Ty is right here. Huh? What he's saying is impossible if Lil Ty is right there. It's 434. Nigga, you left out the hotel roughly 227. 226, 227. It's 434. How the hell you left with Lil Ty and Nuff? Lil Ty right there. That's either Lil Ty or Nuff, but I'm calling him Lil Ty. Because either way, it don't matter. Because you say you left with Nuff and Lil Ty. So if this is not Lil Ty and this is Nuff, either way, nigga, you can't leave without the ones you said you left with. So I'm going to call him Lil Ty. It's 430 fucking 4, nigga. He came in with you. So, we finna accept, I mean, well, you finna admit to either one or two lies, right? Or either one lie or the other, right? You gonna admit to either one lie or the other. Either you didn't leave with Lil Ty and Neff, and you went on to the city, Which you, you would admit that you lied to the police, right? Or you did leave with Nuff and Lil Ty, which would mean you waited around until 434. Because that's the only way you would be able to leave with them. So you have to admit to one lie or the other. Now, if you admit to the lie that you lied about leaving with them all together, then now you have to tell why the fuck you, would you lie about that? Why would you lie about leaving with them if you didn't leave with them? But if you admit to lying about the time you left which would be the only way that you can leave with Lil Ty and Neff then now you have to explain what the fuck you was doing up until 434 Mike Mike Now, notice that not only that, notice in his statement, he left Tifi out of him leaving. He left Tifi out of him leaving with him, right? He left Tifi's name out of it.
Now, the only reason why you would do that is not only because you lying, but the fact that you seen footage and you know for a fight, you know for a fight, let's go, let's go back to it, you know for a fight that, um, Tifi was the last thing walking up out of the So you like, damn, I can't say Tifi went with me. Cause look what time this nigga walking out the door. You can't even blend him in. That nigga right down right there on the spot all by himself in red and white. You can't even blend them in. It ain't, it ain't nobody to blend them in with. So you must have seen this footage and was like, damn, I can't say he left with me. Look what time that nigga left. But you say you left with Neff and Ty. I guess you ain't think we was going to spot either Neff or Ty on footage leaving out the door at 434. So which way you want this, homie? You telling big lies. You ain't telling small lies, nigga. You telling big lies, nigga. Hmm? Now, I also want y'all to check out Tiffy. A.K.A. Killer. Y'all watch this shit. All right. Pay attention. Pay attention. Close attention. She she missing. What was y'all doing? And what was y'all initial reaction? We thinking we she left with a nigga though. Tell you. We thinking she left with a nigga. What nigga? Why would y'all think in her state of mind she left with a nigga? What nigga? Because by now the party is super jumping, right? And she left with two girls. Why would y'all think she left with a nigga? Why would y'all think she left with a dude? Remember, Mike Mike is gone. Mike Mike had then left. Now, we don't know if he left Rosemont, but we know we, he, he left out of the hotel. Right? And we know there's a confrontation going on between Mike Mike and Kanika, right? So, what nigga did you think she left with in her state of mind? Y'all weighing Rosemont. Everybody is just about accounted for. Right? It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Why do you think that she left with a nigga? We ain't think I know she finna be this and she finna be that. Some motherfuckers think leave with their niggas and shit like that. Hold on, hold on. Branch off, you know. know. Yeah, she, we ain't taking it real serious like that took after the fact. Exactly. And I'm like, damn, she really gone? You know what I'm saying? Like, just like, going over. Nah. First, you know, yeah. Like, so y'all ain't like that. Y'all like, man, get the fuck out of here. Go nah, get it. Like, yeah, like, get the fuck out of here. Now, watch this. Here's another point I want to point out about Tifi. Give me a second. Listen. Told you he walked off. He walked off. Like that. What? Like, dude, did did like, anybody tell him like, "Fam, you tweaking it? Our friend lost. Our friend." Actually, uh, one of the girls I started like, getting rowdy, but uh, and that was all we heard. Trick. We heard. We heard about the that. The girls started telling him like, "I'm not 
fuck your ass out. Ooh, I say this is about Jay Blue. And I went back and I apologized. I told my hey, sir, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? My friend, hey, she a little upset. She lost a friend. He know it's okay. It's okay. Walked off. I'm thinking like, dude, why you ain't calling the police? She just told you. She just threatened you at your job. Come on, bro. If you hotel, if you work at a hotel, you behind. And okay, first of all, you got customers coming in. Customers going out. Customers standing right there. And you a big disturbance of the peace. If somebody's acting threatening. I want y'all to notice, Tiffy can't vouch for nothing this dude is saying. Tiffy can't vouch for nothing he is saying right now. <clears throat> Pay attention. You at work. You ain't call the police? Mm. Oh, you ain't call the police, huh? True, you got shit. Oh, you ain't. And that was another thing. Y'all never call hotel security. Hotel security just love them guys five times before that, though. It's a disservice. Just get, get, these guys, get these people up out of No. Slick shit, man. This is the reason why Tiffy can't really vouch for too much of anything that Pease is saying. I want y'all to pay attention. All right. Do y'all see what time it is on this stamp. Do y'all see what time it is? It's 4.32, right? It's 4.32. Remember the time I told y'all that little tie or Neff left out of the hotel? Hmm? Well, here's the time that Tiffy left 4.35. Why am I in the lower level at 4.32? Oh, shit. Watch this. Two things I want y'all to hear. Two things I want y'all to hear. This is very important. Watch this. Service. They make it so for the, so so the misconception on social media that motherfuckers didn't go look for her when the truth is everybody yeah. went looking for they her. They want a lot of people like like sex us. Listen to Tifi, right? Listen to Tifi. Six loud. Yeah. Yeah. They want a lot of motherfuckers. But everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody want to take everybody. Got, that's how everybody got up and like. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, yeah, we looking for. Remember those words. Hell yeah, he looking for. Remember those words, right? Remember those words. Watch this. Like what we they still look at. Friday, that was Saturday. Uh, the kickback was Friday. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Saturday, the midday, cause that's I remember. It was midday, cause that's when they hit. That's when they called the phone. They was like, "Hey, Phil, the We like, where? Listen. And then they was like, "They found We like, wait, what? Okay. What? How the fuck she get? How the fuck she get it out? If we was all around this hotel, what was she? What, how did we was all around this hotel? Remember, peas and Ty was all around the hotel. Watch this. How this happened? You get what I'm saying? Like, man. Just like mind boggling, like fuck, like you like just you just stuck like for a second, like wait what? P say how did she get in there? Listen, I'm crazy man, like. What well, well, y'all was looking for? Did anybody think like let me go down to the basement or y'all like fuck? Listen to that question. Did anybody think to say, let's go down to the basement? We don't get access to that. Did y'all hear Ty? I mean, uh, uh, Tiffy. Did y'all hear Tiffy? He said, we ain't know no shit down there like that. I thought the first floor was the first floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't no basement some shit. Yeah, yeah. How you ain't know it was a ba- let's, let's listen to this one more time. One more time before I go further. The mid day, cause that's I remember. It was mid day, cause that's when they hit. That's when they called the phone. They was like, "They feel the nigga." We like, 
where? And then they was like, they found it. We like, wait, what? Okay. What? How the fuck she get? How the fuck she get it out? If we was all around this hotel, what was she? What, how did how did this happen? You get what I'm saying? Like, man, it, it was just like mind boggling. Like, fuck. Like, you like just you just stuck like for a second. Like, wait, what? It's mm. crazy, man. Like. Well, well, what y'all was looking for, did anybody think, like, let me go down to the basement? Or y'all, like, fuck it, we don't got access to that. Man, we ain't no basement. Exactly. Like, no basement. I don't know. I the first floor, the first floor, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't no basement, some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He thought the first floor was the first floor. He ain't know about no basement, right? Now, now that y'all hear this, I want y'all to look at his reaction when Pease is talking this time. Look at. Tifi's reaction. Listen to P's, but look at Tifi's reaction. As a matter of fact, look at Tifi's eyes while P's is talking. Listen. While P's is talking about her location. It to me a day, because that's, I remember, it was me a day, because that's when they hit, that's when they called the phone, they they found the nigga. You looking at P's? Like, they found Kanika. They like, where, right? Now, watch Tifi's eyes. Where? And then they was like, they found it. We like, wait, what? What? How the fuck she get, how the fuck she get it now? If we was P say, how the fuck she get it now? Look at Tifi's eyes now, watch now. All around this hotel, what was she, what, how did, how did this happen? You get what I'm saying? Like, man, it, it, it was just like, man, boy. Do you see how he's looking at the other dude? He's kind of like gazing off and looking back at the other dude. Huh? Like he knows some shit, but he just go ahead, he's just going to go ahead and go along with what Pease is saying. But him and the other dude know some shit. That's how he's looking at the other dude. T is the most nervous in this whole fucking interview. He's the most nervous, right? But I didn't already call him in plenty of lies. Okay? Watch this shit. I'm like, fuck, like, you like just, you just stuck like for a second, like, wait, what? It's huh. crazy, man. Now he want to hurry up and get past this part. What well, well, y'all was looking for, did anybody think, like, let me go down to the basement? Or y'all, like, fuck it, we don't got access to that. Man, we ain't no well, basement. Exactly. Like, that, no basement. I don't know, I thought the first floor, the first floor, shit. Yeah, we, 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 we ain't no basement, some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's move on with this shit. I'm sick of hearing this, boy. Yeah, now, Tiffy says everybody went looking, right? Which we know everybody didn't go looking. Most of the people who came out of that room and came from the elevator, some looped around and went out the back door, some went out the front door. Point blank, period. The only people who roamed around that hotel was Monifa, Shamaya, Bree Bree, Ty, and Pease. Everybody else kept it moving there was no Tifi the only time Tifi on footage the only time Tifi came out of that room and appeared on the lower half of that hotel and what I mean by the lower half Either the parking lot, southwest entry, meeting hall, food court, however, whatever, right? The only time he appeared on camera looking for Kanika is at 432. Three minutes before he walked out the door with Irene and everybody else. Oh, and including Neff or Lil Ty.
That's the only time Tifi brought his ass out of that room, as far as we know, on footage. Because everybody else, like I say, everybody else who came out the room, they hauled ass, they kept it moving. The only people, Ty, Pease, Shamaya Bree, and Monifa. Them the only ones that roam that hotel. And we talking for hours. This is what Tifa do. Watch this. Watch this. This is the only time we see Tifa. So called looking for Kanika. Four thirty two. Okay, he does that. Speed it up a little bit. Okay. He does that. Then, okay, and then he does this, right? Speed it up a little bit. Not too much because right here is when he disappears for a quick second and come right back. And I need to show you where he went. That's okay. That's at 433.48. All right, so he's coming back on this one. I'm going to show you where he went. Where he goes is when he went down this hall here, he went up the escalator, he went across. Right, he went up the escalator, he went straight across. Because when you go straight across off the escalator, the stairs is right there. So he goes up the escalator, he goes straight across to the stairs, and he come back down. This is all fast, what he's doing. Now he claimed he didn't know about this basement, right? This is all fast, what he's doing. So we're gonna give him 10 seconds. And he comes back. Okay, we already know this information, right? He comes back down. Clock is going to jump. And here he goes. All right. And then. He goes back here. Clock is going to jump. He goes on the elevator and then y'all see what time that was. All right. He goes on the elevator. Give me a second.
heading out the door. So two things he lied about. Everybody went looking for Kanika. And that he didn't know anything about the basement area. He thought the first flow was the first flow. Why didn't he mention when I went when I did go down there, it looked kind of creepy down there, you know what I'm saying? I did walk all around now now in that area. He ain't mentioned none of that shit. This is the reason why he couldn't really speak on too much that Pease was speaking on when it came to the manager and security guard dodging them when they was asking questions. Because Tifi was still in the room with Irene. Or wherever the fuck he was at. I don't know where he was at. All I know is, for some fucking reason, the only time he popped up looking for Kanika is when he entered into the basement area that he claimed he didn't know nothing about. That's the first area you, you went straight to. You walked to the escalators, went cross, came back downstairs. Right? The same path that she took. The only thing you didn't do is go in the kitchen. But you claim you didn't know the basement area existed. Yet you failed to mention that you did enter into the basement area. And, of course, at the same time, to give us sentiments. The way you was looking at Pease. When Pease was talking about the location of Kanika's body being found. And then you looked at the other person behind the camera. And then you started dazing off. I know that look very well, homie. I know that look very well. And then right after that, you lie and say you knew nothing about the basement area, failing to admit that you was definitely in the basement area, even if you just admit, you know, just mention it, you know, to say that you was looking for. Her. You didn't mention the basement area that you was looking in the basement area for her. You never mentioned that. You say you knew nothing about it. Then, on top of this, on top of it all, and this is the last thing I'm going to say before I end this video. On top of it all, once again, Monifa says, and I'll show the statement. Monifa says. In the second, which statement was that? I'm like, we finna go back inside to get her phone and call Bree Bree for the key. Right? This is what Monifa says. Call Bree Bree for the key. Go back, get her phone, and call Bree Bree for the key. As we walk in to the room. Now, y'all called Bribby for the key. What time was this? 
Well, let's see what time Bree Bree. Let's see what time Bree Bree came back. Y'all see the time, right? Six minutes after Kanika pop up off the elevator, right? Or pop out off the elevator. Six minutes afterwards. Damn near perfect timing. Damn near perfect motherfucking time. Where's Mike Mike? Where's Mike Mike? Who brought you back? It's cold outside, remember? Who brought you back? Where's Mike Mike? 